I have no health care when I retire. I don't have any um, pension. So I don't have any security after my 30 years. Indiana auto workers brace for a possible strike. They will find out tonight if their plant will be among the first to go on strike. Their current contract expires tonight at 11.59 p.m. The union president says negotiations have made progress, but it's not nearly enough. We're fighting for concessions that we've given up to keep the companies profitable. And now it's time to swing the pendulum the other way. They've made their record profits. It's time to give back what we've already conceded before. We're just trying to catch back up to where we should be. The union is asking for increased pay, cost of living expenses, job security and retiree benefits. A strike could cost the industry billions of dollars and cause a domino effect for hundreds of suppliers in local communities. Gloria Pasmino reports on where the two sides currently stand. We are preparing to strike these companies in a way they've never seen before. Ready for the picket line. Thousands of U.S. auto workers could walk off the job Friday at midnight, launching a series of targeted strikes at individual plants run by some of the nation's largest automakers. Known as the Big Three, General Motors, Ford and Stellantis are facing ambitious demands from the United Auto Workers Union. The list includes an immediate 20% raise in hourly pay, followed by four additional raises of 5% over four years. They also want retiree health care coverage and job protections. One worker says the toll of factory work is something you can't measure in dollars. We wear our bodies out for these companies, and it's just part of our story, but we deserve to be compensated. Company execs say they're negotiating in good faith. We made our first offer almost two weeks ago to the UAW. We've made three offers since then. And we've had no genuine counteroffer on any of those. As the deadline quickly approaches, hope for a deal is dwindling. They spent more money enriching shareholders in a year than they spent on us in the entirety of the last contract cycle. They want to scare the American people into thinking the auto workers are the problem. We're not the problem. In Detroit, I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting.